afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Memily Makes, or welcome if you are new here. I hope that you're all doing well. It's a pretty grim day here. <laughs> it's pretty grim, but I'm thankful because um, there's been some roadworks by me, well I say by me, on my journey to the office. There are some roadworks and they surprised a whole new set of roadworks on us this morning. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't disrupt my way home too much and I've figured out a way around them, so should be home a bit better tomorrow. But anyway, I completely digress. Today is the 19th of December. There you are. Yeah, ridiculously close now, aren't we? It's crazy. Got a couple more presents to arrive. I'm hoping they'll arrive in time. I mean, it's okay if they don't. You know, everyone's understanding of the current situation. So, 19th of December, 19th day of Vlogmas, and 19th day of Advent. This one's nice. I think you're going to like this one. I do. <laughs> so, here we are. Isn't that lovely? Let's move the card out of the way. There we go. Isn't that lovely? I love these bright pinks. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, real happy with this one. <laughs> and it's going to look so good again in the shawl. So today's painting inspiration is Monet's Water Lilies, 1915. You have to excuse me, I am very tired, so I can't hold things straight for the minute. So yeah, it's been a long day, it's been a long day. It's always that um, last week before Christmas where everybody's trying to get everything done as quickly as possible because everybody else is going on holiday and you need the work off them and yeah. It's all always a bit manic this time of year, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be good when we reach Friday. But yes, today's colour, absolutely beautiful. So, let's have a look at the shawl. Um, it's all right, my bag is all the way on the other side of my table, so I'm pulling the yarn really far out. Not that that matters, but anyway. So, let's have a look. Um, I feel like I've missed a row. No, I haven't. No, we're all good, we're all good. Don't panic, nobody panic. Right. Hang on, bear with me. I'm just trying to roll it up a bit. So, here we go. Shawl. Again, this is the uh, Dust of Snow Wrap by Helen Stewart. I'm gonna try and seamlessly release it. <laughs> oh, it didn't quite work. There we go. As you can see, very, very long wrap. So I'm hoping, obviously, as you can see, it is very dark outside. Um, it's what time is it? It's four o'clock, everybody, four o'clock and it's, <laughs> longest day on Wednesday and then we can start getting brighter all good so yeah you're not gonna be able to see this too well if I turn that way no not really um but yeah yesterday's color perhaps was one of my favorites bear with me hang on it's getting a bit unmanageable now um so that is where I joined yesterday's color the lovely moth and as you can see it's um hmm no you can just yeah no that's fine as you can see, I mean, this colour is absolutely stunning anyway. I really liked this one. It was just all the perfect pale colours. It was beautiful. And then when we add it in tomorrow's colour, it's going to be... Oh, yeah, those pinks are really going to shine. Those pinks are really going to look good. I'm very excited to add that in. Yeah, so, um, obviously, I will wind this on in a bit. Oh, it's already decided to unravel itself. My bad. Um, I will wind this on in a moment once I'm finished here, and then add it into my shawl. I have a, a football game, oh my gosh, sorry, I'm gone. <laughs> there we go. I have a football game to watch. Um, I support the Tennessee Titans, sorry, <laughs> NFL football. Um, so I've got that game to watch um, because obviously I'm not staying up late. I go to bed at nine, I read a book when I go to bed. I go to bed at nine, read a book, and then I fall asleep around 10 o'clock because I'm up at half five in the morning, so I kind of need my beauty sleep. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I've got that football match to watch because it was on last night at nine o'clock, so I didn't stay up to watch it because I had work. It was a school night, so no. Um, right, so I do have a little bit extra to show you today. I haven't had any deliveries, but that's fine. As I said before, it's perfectly fine. Um, but I do have a little something else to show you because I, I've been told that I keep mentioning Botanical Yarn and Twin Set and Pearl Sock Club but I've only actually shown, I think, one pair of socks that is from that club, which is June's. I'm trying to remember which, yeah, it was June's pair. 
Um, and I didn't even show you the full sock actually, but I'll show you them when they're finished properly. But I do have the other months here. So I thought, you know, being as it's been mentioned to me, I will show you them. Um, I should probably put them on a sock blocker really, but hey ho, here we are. This is what we will do. Let me roll up my sleeves, bear with me. Right, so January socks were these lovely, lovely pair of socks. Absolutely love these. Let's bring those closer. Tell you what, I'll put one on my wrist, my hand. Oh, you can do that. There we go. So these, um, do you know what? Bear with me, I'm going to get a, block, a sock blocker. <laughs> All my sock blockers are full, which isn't very handy. Bear with me. <laughs> Let me just, oh dear, totally not prepared, if you can tell. But there we go. Right, let's try this. This might work a bit better. Um, I have added um, zip ties to the top of them so that I can hang them off the line. You can tell the last time I blocked socks was when it was warm weather. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, so that might look a bit better because you can actually see the lace work a bit better. There you go. So these socks are called the Blue Pearl Socks. The design is by Twinset and Pearl and I believe what they're doing is Twinset and Pearl are releasing the design on their Ravelry page and they're releasing it six months after the sock club. So January socks are available. The January pattern is available and they're called Blue Pearl Socks. Yes, and this was January's club, January's instalment. <laughs> it's been a very long day, please bear with me. Um, so those are the socks. As you can see, there's a really nice um, lace design that comes all the way down the front and it's on both sides it's just like a little panel that goes down the front of the sock and then it goes all the way down to the toes it's absolutely beautiful i love them they're so soft the yarn unfortunately is only available in the sock club so this color isn't actually available to buy um, it was only available in the sock club um, but that is january socks let me uh <laughs> sort out my desk a bit turn the page so now we have uh oh they haven't written it on but this is february socks um bear with me there we go so these were february's mm, i'm not quite sure how best to showcase these that way oh, that way's good yeah that way's good so these were mostly ribbing that a uh, little bit of cabling and the leg of the sock had that all the way around the sock as you can see oh, there we go all the way around the sock and then for the uh, the foot, it was actually just a rib for the foot. Um, but again, absolutely love these socks. Really, really nice. I'm going to take that off because it's really annoying. <laughs> there we go. Absolutely love these socks. So these, oh, I didn't actually tell you what they were called, I don't think. So these are February socks and they are called Pink Haze Socks. So these also are available to purchase on uh, Twin Set and Pearl's Ravelry page. The pattern is anyway. Again, the yarn is just, the yarn was only available for the sock club, but that was February's socks. Oh, I do love socks. They're so soft. Mm, love hand knitted socks. Right, let's try and get to the, through these a bit quicker. Um, this one wasn't my favourite. It was fun to knit, um, and actually no, it is. Um, I'm warming to it, let's put it that way. It's not my cup of tea, but I do I do like them all the same. So these are March's socks and they're called the Delft Hyacinth Socks. Now, I will be putting the information, uh, the name of the pattern at the bottom because, yeah, Delft Hyacinth. I mean, yeah, it is kind of how it's said, I think. But anyway... All the details will be below, so you'll be able to look those up. Again, these will be available on their uh, Ravelry page because these are March's socks. So there you go. I don't know if it helps bringing it closer. So these have got little bobbles on them. I don't think you can actually see the bobbles. But in between this sort of area, there's like a little bobble. Um, and there's a little bit of lace work going on as well. But the decoration, uh, the pattern, sorry, was mostly on the leg. And then the foot was just stockinette stitch foot. Um, so yeah, I love the yarn. Uh, but again, unfortunately, the yarn isn't available to purchase. So that those are March's socks. Turn the page. These are my favourite. These are definitely my favourite. 
and Twinset and Pearl have actually released a sweater pattern based on these socks, the design on these socks, because, oh, it's beautiful. It's so delicate, is that the right word? It's just very beautiful. Right, so without further ado, these are, wait, these are April, <laughs> April socks, um, and these are called the Sparkling, Spark, I'm dropping my G's, that's terrible, uh, Sparkling Fountain Socks. And as I say, they've done um, a sweater of these, this design. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's all right, I'm looking at my computer there. No, you can kind of see it. So there's a little bit of um, like just moving, manipulating the stitches across. And then on the other side of the sock, you've got, there we go, <laughs> maybe that way. I'm trying to get the light to hit it just right. Okay, so on this side of the sock, you can see that there's only the one uh, motif. And then when I turn it over, you can see that there's actually the two motifs. Now the socks are knit as a left and a right. So if I hold them together like that, you can see that there's the two on that side and the two on that side. And vice versa, if I hold them, put the two, two sides, two motifs together, then you'll get the, the single motif. There we go. Turn it over and you get the other single motif. So they are knit as a right and a left, um, but they are so much fun to knit. And the colour is stunning. The motif, the pattern is just beautiful. So I do highly recommend these. And these, I believe, are also available to purchase on um Twinset and Pearl's Ravelry page, but again, the yarn. It was a one-off for Sock Club. There we go. And then the final pair that I have for you are maize. Now I've never I've never knit a pair like this before, so I was quite excited and intrigued. And these are oops, turn the page. <laughs> these are the Picote Pink Shorties. There we are. And they are shorty socks, which I've never made before. So that was quite exciting. I mean, I know the, the logic behind them is just knit a smaller leg. It makes sense, but you know, I've never, I have never knit shorties before. And here they are, little shorties. The cuff is a folded, so you knit it twice as long as it is, and then you kind of knit it in at the top. Really clever, really nice, feels really good. And then you've got these lovely little boxy designs with the, the holes and the, yeah. The ribbing, really nice, really like them. And yeah, very, very bright jazzy yarn. But again, the yarn's not available, but I believe that the pattern is available. Um, I think they'll be releasing June's pattern. That's how far behind I, I think they'll be releasing June's pattern this month at some point if they've not already released it. Um, but yeah, as I say, I mean, I've got another six months to do that I've not done. Um, I have started June's, which I did show you in a previous Vlogmas. I can't remember which episode, but I did show the progress. And, um, oh, and actually, <laughs> I've got it here. It's not been blocked, hence why it looks really scraggly. Let me just put it on a soft blocker. Um, so June, I finished one sock, and I just need to finish the other sock. Here is June. There we go. I can't remember the name of this sock, unfortunately but I'll write it in the, the blurb below. So this one has a really beautiful swirly kind of lacy motif running down. And then along the back of the sock, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, no, you can. Down the back of the sock is different. So you've got these straight lines that have got cabling going down the middle of them. There you are. So this is one of June's socks. I'm getting there, I've nearly done the second one. And I have actually started July's because I took July's socks to cast on while I was in Stockholm in October. Um, just because, oh, was it November that we went? I can't remember now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the, that has been the Botanical Yarn and Twinset and Pearl collaboration for their sock club. As I said yesterday, I have had the dispatch notification for December's sock club and that will be the last one that I will be doing with them. Um, purely because, as you can see, I'm, I'm still doing jeans, so there's no point me um, carrying on when I'm so far behind. So yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I thought it'd just be nice to show you some of the socks from the club. They are continuing it in uh, 2023, so you can sign up. But yeah, I mean, look at those colours, they look well nice, don't they? 
but really nice together. Really, really nice socks. So yeah, that is the Botanical Yarn Twin Set and Pearl Sock Club. That's very good, it's very good fun. Um, and that, we're at 15 minutes, so yes, I will call it a day. <laughs> and yeah, if I have, if obviously I get any deliveries tomorrow, I can show you them tomorrow. Um, failing that, it's gonna be quite a short one tomorrow, possibly. But knowing me, it probably won't be. But anyway, um, I will call it a day. And thank you so, so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.